hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is fajira if you're joining me for the very first time i want to say thank you for stopping by and also for my returning subscribers thank you for always following up so in today's video i have put up this uh, recipe to show you how you can use this uh, mackerel fish to prepare a very delicious stew for your family as we all know that mackerel fish contains omega-3 and fatty acid though it looks very cheap but it didn't it has a very high source of protein so guys stay tuned let's quickly dive into this nutritious stew as you can see in front of me so as you can see in front of me is my green mackerel and this is a three pound mackerel i think there are three mackerel there which one is for a pound so it's already grilled and i have a video of how you can grill this mackerel in the oven without frying it so i'm going to use this mackerel for the stew we are about to prepare and like i said it contains a high omega-3 and fatty acid and my kids really do enjoy it it's very cheap in appearance but trust me it is also very healthy for kids growing up so in preparation of this stew i have a shop tomato fresh tomato and i have tomato paste which i'm going to use but i'm not going to use up everything then also i have some so i have my salt i have maggi which is seasoning cubes i also have onion i have curry i'm going to be using i have thyme i'm also going to be using and turmeric as usual you know i love turmeric in all my food then i have a little bell pepper in the bowl there i'm going to be blending with the chopped fresh tomatoes and also scotch bonnets so i will be blending this straight together for me to use for this stew so I've placed a clean pot on the cooker. I'm going to add my olive oil, but you can actually use vegetable oil if you are a fan of vegetable oil, but I prefer to use olive oil to cook for my family. So I'm going to let it heat up a little. Then I will add my already sliced onion. As you can see, it's ready for me to fry. So I'm going to let it fry for at least one minute before adding any other ingredients to it. That's because I just want the oil, uh, the onion to be a bit cooked before adding my fresh tomato, scotch bonnet, and my bell pepper to it. So that is frying for about a minute. So I already have the blended scotch bonnet, fresh tomato, and red bell pepper, which I'm adding to it. So I'm still going to stir fry and allow this to to fry and um, the water from the fresh tomato uh, dry up a little before adding any other ingredients to it so you can see that it's been frying this is just the fresh pepper scotch bonnet onion and bell pepper so at this point i already have my tomato paste which i'm going to add to it like i said i'm not going to use up all the tomato paste i'm just going to add a little from the container i showed you at the beginning so i think i'm going to add like three to four spoons of it then i will continue with this too so that's because i want the color to be reddish and also inviting So I'm going to stir fry to make sure that the tomato paste blends in properly into the, the, the stew before I go ahead to add any other ingredients. As we can see, it's completely blended into the stew. And I have my, my grilled mackerel. So if you're watching this video till now, that means you have enjoyed it. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So now I'm adding my seasoning cubes to our delicious stew. I'm also adding thyme to our stew. Cheap, very cheap, but delicious and very nutritious. And also turmeric powder. You know I love turmeric powder and I don't do without it, especially when I'm preparing sauce like this. 
then i also have salt i'm going to add to it then i will also add some little curry i'm not going to add so much curry because i've already added turmeric powder so i'm just adding a little bit of curry to it but i'm a fan of turmeric powder if you know if you've been on the channel with me you will know that i really love using turmeric powder so at this point it's time for me to add my grilled mackerel i have a video on how you can grill this mackerel on this channel so if you go down below you're going to find that video and see how you could grill your mackerel without having to fry it which is very healthy when it comes to preparing it instead of frying and adding more oil to it ma mackerel naturally has oil so there's no point frying it to add more oil to it so you're better off grilling it i will leave the link of that video in the description okay. box so i'm just going to stay it for a little while then i already have sliced onion because my kids really do enjoy onion in their stew they see it like another meat <laughs> but i'm not going to let this onion to be cooked i'm just going to turn off the heat now and just allow the steam from the stew to just um, heat it up a bit and that's it so as we can see we've actually added everything we need in this stew and this is a very cheap stew but also nutritious so we've actually come to the end of this stew the heat is now turned off and i'm just trying to make sure that the onion goes down to allow the steam from the stew heat it up a bit so it will not be too fresh when they eat it as well so you can see how inviting how delicious this stew looks look at it so this can be used to serve with um pasta with spaghetti with rice like i am using rice and beans to eat this stew so this is my remaining tomato paste which i'm going to put in a plastic bowl and store it in the freezer for another time so like i said i didn't use up everything here we go with our basil <laughs> i'm just going to add some basil to this delicious stew and i'm adding it now because i didn't want it to cook completely i just wanted it the steam from from the stew to cook it and so i can still get the flavor from it so i'm just going to allow the steam to just heat it up a bit because if i cook it i may end up losing that green uh, appearance and also the flavor i want from it so here we go we are done with our delicious macro stew very cheap stew less expensive and at the same time very nutritious and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell thank you very much guys for watching bye and see you in my next video